so one way that you could solve this is if you know that these opposite angles are going to be supplementary, you could say that 10 times some multiplier for A and 13 times that same multiplier for angle C has to add up to 180 degrees. So that's one way. Okay. Uh, if you recall, I tend to use ratios. Okay. Did anybody here use ratios? Okay, good. So if you're using ratios, you have 10 parts and 13 parts. How many total parts are there in this set? 23. 23. So what I would do is I would <laughs> say angle A is 10 out of 23 parts of the whole, and angle C is 13 out of 23 of those parts. And what's the total sum of parts? Opposite angles are supplementary, so 180. And so this is going to give me my solutions. I can go ahead and calculate. So 10 out of 23 times 180, I'll put it in decimal, okay, is 78.26 approximately. And if I wanted to find 13 out of 23 times 180 in decimal form, it's 101.7. Uh, so that's angle C, or 101.74. And so those would be uh, my first two angles. And then I can find my remaining angles by using the similar ratios. I have 17 and 18, so my total sum of parts is 25. So if I'm finding angle uh, B, it's going to be 17 out of 25 of those parts. The whole thing, because they're opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral, is 180. And angle D is going to be the other 8 out of 25 of that same set. And so when I calculate this, uh, 17 out of 25 times 180 gives me 122.4. And I can find my angle D by taking, and I'm just going to change this 17 to an 8. Everything else remains the same. I get 57.6. And so these would be my... Uh, designated angles.